Hello guys, welcome to my new video and today I'm going to be doing a small add-on tutorial towards an add-on that you probably are either using or you might be thinking about it. Omni CD, not Omni CC, Omni CD and this has kind of exploded and I've been sleeping on this add-on for the last month or something. I was fully aware of it and I've seen a lot of people using it. It was really nice. It basically replaces a bunch of weak auras, especially things like Zen Tracker if you used it before into a more customizable or more user-friendly experience and i delayed getting it because i was really thinking to myself do i really need to know what other cooldowns other classes have available and uh, honestly after using it for a couple of weeks now i have to say it was worth getting it and honestly there is so many different things that made this add-on amazing i don't usually do a video specifically that ded dedicated to a single add-on but this deserves it. Now I had three goals to achieve. And this is mainly from a healer's perspective. But it can work for any single role in World of Warcraft. I had a goal of first. Checking healing potion usage. And I know there is a weak order to do this. But I was able to achieve this. Or check healing potion usage. Using Omni cooldown. You had to kind of enter custom spell IDs. And kind of mess around with it. Because it's not enabled by default. But it's possible. So we'll go through that. Second of all. I wanted to check things like cheat death mechanics. And this is very important for tanks like Vengeance Demon Hunters who have a talented cheat death. They have a trinket cheat death. And honestly, making sure that you know if they're available or not kind of gives you the opportunity of being aggressive towards healer DPS or aggressive towards healing. So very, very important. And I wanted to know if my Fire Mage is using that combustion or has the combustion available for Prideful. Or maybe the balance Druid has Convoke available, whatever. I wanted to know if there are cooldowns available for a specific pride. And if they're using it. And if I should take it easy with healing or go more hardcore. So generally speaking, it ended up being really, really cool. Especially with the fact that it also has an interrupt tracker at the same time. So for my Resto Shaman, it was very, very good. So let's go and get started on how to set it up. So again, this is a very beginner-friendly tutorial. Only how to get it started at the start. You can type in enter type in four slash oc and this is going to work for basically opening the menu and you're going to see omni cd and there is very like out of the box it works pretty well and it works with any unit frames for example i'm using grid 2 right now if you're using voodoo that's fine if you're using default blizzard frames that's fine it doesn't matter it's going to work with basically any unit frames out there and it's going to sign an icon to show you what the cooldown is like. We're going to go to the general section. And here you just basically assign fonts. Honestly, the best font. Uh, that <laughs> my favorite font to use is Expressway. You can use whatever you want. Uh, by default, it's BT Sans. But Expressway is really nice. In terms of textures, you're going to see Omni Cooldown Flat. I like Omni Cooldown Flat. I think it's really cool. I also like default flat, uh, flat texture. And personally, I also like, if I can see it here, Melly. Melly Dark, Melly Dark, and the things like that are really cool textures, in my opinion. The default textures, the default fonts are pretty good. But again, you can fiddle with it and change the font sizes. Timers, I didn't change anything for this. I like the format that it is given. And we're going to go to Visibility. Visibility is important because this is, by default, I think you're going to have Arena. So if you want to show up, if you're doing PvP, if you're doing Arena, you want to show it up, you want to take it here. I don't really do PvP, and I kind of only wanted to show up on Dungeons. So I select Dungeons. And this is important. Max number of group members, and it's set up to 5. So that means this is only going to show up if it's going to be 5 members, or like you're doing content where there is no more than 5 mem members. Which kind of means that it's, first of all, if you're doing Dungeon content, it's probably going to be less if you're worried about performance. In dungeons is going to be less clutter. So having these cooldowns being shown in five man content only is not going to incur too much of a performance penalty, if you know what I mean. Because a lot of people are scared about, hey, is this gonna add like is my computer gonna slow down? I'm checking everyone's cooldown. From the testing that I did, it feels absolutely perfectly fine. The computer ran with no issues whatsoever. Honestly, really, 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 really solid. When you compare it to certain other weak cores, I know certain other weak cores had some issues with performance in the past. So I only loaded during dungeons and with five members. It's by default. So if you do that in dungeons, you have to go to the dungeon section on the visibility. And here you're going to see everything that you need. You're probably going to want to click test. And you see what the text bars are going to look like. So you can see you're tracking your defensives. My earth and wall totem, my ascendance and tremor totem. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's a little bit too big. I don't really like the position here. It's not really from the top. 
I don't know how do I fix this. So first of all, you can um, you can also take show tooltip if you're not sure what the ability is. I don't really have it because it's gonna add like clutter. So in position, I leave it the way it is. I, or in general, I leave it the way it is. I go into positions, and position is the big one. So in terms of add-ons, it might be set up to auto, which is fine. I'm gonna just set it to grid two. In positions, you could go left. A lot of people go left. I go right. Why do I go right? Because my grid two profile, if I go to indicators and if we go to test, this indicator right here for grid two shows things like affixes, like grievous stacks, bursting stacks. So I don't want that information to be overlapped by cooldowns for the members. So this is why I go to the left. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to go on the left for the time being. I like to pick this. I like to pick more. So when I pick more, you can go to left and you can go to right. I, attachment point right and anchor point left. And all of a sudden you can see here, if your offset is offset Y is set to zero, it's going to be right bang in the middle of your frame and it's going to go to the right. And I kind of like this anchor point. So that's the way I set up my profile and I think it looks better. If you decide to go to something like right, you can change your offset to be in the middle. If you feel it's going to be in the middle. I don't need to do that because I can set it to zero. I can go to more. I can go to left and I can go to right. And I like the way it looks like. So this is going to be just default positioning. And this is like half the job in terms of setting up the sat on. You'll notice there's also a manual mode, which you can enable and you can drag uh, the position if you want by yourself. Again, it's all up to you. There's going to be an interval bar, which you can see right here. You can actually drag it and move it somewhere else. That's all good. Interval bar is very much needed if you're playing any class that needs to track those intervals, especially with Shaman. And then there's going to be raid cooldown bar, which you can see here. Raid cooldown bar, I haven't tested it myself because it seems like it's doing the same thing that my Exorcist raid tools does with raid cooldown. So I don't actually need it. And I disable it. So a lot of it is not going to be including raid bar because I already kind of have it with Exorcist raid tools. Exorcist raid tools is great for tracking. So interrupts, cooldowns. Perfect. Everything that I have here is done. Icons. I don't really like the icon size. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I prefer it a bit. I'll make it this for the time being. 63%. You can change the charge type. You can change the counter size. Everything here is pretty decent. You can change the border. I think two pixels is pretty nice. But we're going to stick with one. And I think this is fine. But by default, we're going to go to highlighting. Highlighting is quite impo kind of important. But I haven't done anything with this. And there's a reason why. So for all of a sudden... If you have an important defensive, external defensive immunity or raid defensive being used, like for example, I'm going to use my Astral Shift, which has a 1.5 minute cooldown, it's going to show up as purple. So you can see it here, um, it's being used right now. And this is how you can tell if a person is using a specific cooldown. After a certain amount of time or the 4 seconds, it's going to go on cooldown, it's going to show up 1.5 minutes or 1 minute at this point. So you can see how it kind of works. If it's purple, someone is using a certain ability. If it's on cooldown, like things like cheat dead trinkets, it's on cooldown. You have to play more safely with that tank or heal them more or they have to do less of a pulse. I did not change anything for this and I feel it's pretty good. Priority, again, I didn't change anything. You can, for example, change the defensive. So all of a sudden your actual shift is going to go a bit more to the right if you want. I leave it, honestly, just the way it is and I feel it's pretty good. Spells are going to be the biggest thing you're going to tinker with. And this is going to be the biggest section of the video. I don't want to go too much time onto it. But generally speaking, you probably want to go through all of these and see what you want to track and not track. Like, for example, there's a lot of clutter that I feel is not really that important. Like for Mage, I feel it's really important for me to track Ice Block. I feel it's relatively important for me to track Alter Time, which is a defensive. Cauterize, if I want to know if the Mage is going to play safe. Call Snap, if they're going to be, again, if they're going to be Frost. But <laughs> you can untick. You can basically enable it, disable it. It's very, very easy, especially with the latest version. You can also see offensive spells like Combustion. And Combustion is very, very important for me because I need to know if the mage is going to use Combustion during a specific time. If I go to Demon Hunters, so first of all, you can also track Interrupts. And uh, if you don't want to track an Interrupt, you can untick it. But honestly, the Interrupt bard kind of needs to know what Interrupts you want to track. So I would just leave the default. Default is more than fine. Immunity is nether walk. Okay, that's fine. Defense is blur. Last resort is really, really important. This is something that you need to have. And it will it will be enabled, but just familiar with it. Sustaining fatal damage instead transforms you uh, to metamorphosis form. So this is your cheat death mechanic. And if you're running with Vengeance Demon Hunter, and a lot of people will be running with Vengeance Demon Hunter, knowing this is really interesting. 
Metamorphosis is also cool to track darkness. You can see here, Counter CC like reverse magic. I don't really want to track this at the moment. So it really depends how deep you want to go into it. The biggest thing that I want to add here is going to be health potions. And health potions, you can see here that you go through every class, you won't see it. There is an issue with Warlock health stones. I still don't know how to track it. I've added a spell ID. I'm not sure if it's going to be fixed in the future. But I've not been able to track health stones. Uh, for uh, that you get from warlocks, I've not been able. So you can go, P you can go to PVP trinkets. I also should mention that for druids, I like to go to druids and select convoke the spirits, because it's going to be important to track their big offensive cooldown. So racials, I don't really care about racials at, at this moment because I'm not doing PVP trinkets. This is going to be a really big one. Honestly, you need to, need to, need to, need to, need to, need to select S splintered heart of Valar. Absorbs up to a certain amount of damage from a lethal attack. Make sure you select this. This is your cheat that trinket, but ne that nearly every single tank is going to use, and be and tracking this is going to be really, really important. It's one of the things that I, I consider to be mandatory. And second, you can see my spiritual health potion. This is not added by default. In order to do this, you need to go to spell editor, go to spell editor, and in here, write. And this is very important. You can already see it here. I already have added it, but just for the sake of explaining, three zero seven one nine two. This is going to be spell ID for health potions. How do you find the spell ID? You can actually Google anything on Wowhead. And when you go to the Wowhead uh, section of the spell item or whatever, at the bookmark bar, you'll see a little number here. You can see it here, 30, uh, 307192. And honestly, the same thing is going to be used for spell IDs for items. And you can just copy that. And this is one of the easiest ways to find a certain spell ID of an item that you're not sure of. That you can later on add to your Omni cooldown. After adding the Spiritual Healing Potion, you need to make sure that you're going to select uh, Trinkets. Make sure the cooldown is going to be 300 because that is going to account for 5-minute cooldown. And Health Potions are 5-minute cooldowns. And I have tested it and it seems to work pretty well. So I set it to 300. That's very important. You have your Spell ID. You set it under Class and Trinkets. Now you go to your Dungeons. You go to your Trinkets. And you'll see Spiritual Healing Potion selected. And now you can see... I have a spiritual, uh, spiritual health potion. If I try and lose some sort of HP, let's say right now, I'm going to lose some HP. I'm going to use a health potion. And you can see the cooldown went on 5 minutes. And this is how I tested a lot of my stuff. And it seems to be working perfectly fine. And this is how you add health potion and how you configure your add-on or your Omni cooldown to work in a good, nice way. Now, if you want to export the profiles or whatever, it has been added. The feature literally appeared in the last version. And I have tested it. The way that you can export, you kind of have to select if you want to export the general and friendly. So basically the layout. Or if you want to export spell editor stuff. And spell editor stuff includes like spiritual healing potion. So you might have to have two different export versions for it. And I've done that. I've tested it on the PTO. The reason I'm on PTO service is because I wanted to test how this import feature is working. And it was working. It was all, and it was all pretty good. So... I hope you enjoyed my guide on this and I know it was quite long but I wanted to cover every single aspect of the add-on because it is being updated quite often. It is something that is very popular and it's worth knowing right now because it replaces a bunch of weak orders with an user-friendly interface and I think it's one of the better add-ons out there right now that is only going to get better and better. I really want to know your opinions about this. Keep the add-on updated. There seems to be new features coming in every single week so i think the order of this wants to keep it maintained and if there's one gripe about this right now is the health stones i've added health stones before i've added the spell id i've added items ids and things like that and it just doesn't seem to work properly at this given moment i hope it's going to be fixed in the next few versions and it would have everything in that given moment that i need when approaching or optimizing my mythic plus runes so guys let me know how you feel about this let me know if i'm missing out on essential add-on that has came about during shadowlands i feel this is one of the best add-ons that came out of this expansion let me know and i'll see you in my next video